Hey curl friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Proud Main. It's your girl, Ava, your loyal curl friend. And in today's video, guys, I'm gonna be spilling all the tea on this Indian secret hair growth oil. Um, if you want long, luscious, beautiful, healthy hair, this is the way to go. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So guys, we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna jump right into this video. So your first ingredient is fenugreek. Y'all know how I feel. I'm not gonna say nothing. All the ingredients will be listed in the description box along with a few of their benefits. Next, we have Tulsi leaves. I got this at a local um, Indian grocery store. Then we have cloves, same place as where I bought it. And we have black cumin seeds or kalanji seeds or nigella seeds, whatever you want to call it. We have dried amla or Indian gooseberries as, as they're also called. You can find this again at the local Indian beauty, uh, not beauty store, <laughs> the local grocery store. And then I added neem leaves as well. This is great for treating your scalp. Um, hibiscus leaves, another powerhouse ingredient, and curry leaves. This is another secret ingredient um, that Indian women love to use in their hair treatments. And then none other than aloe vera. Make sure you clean your aloe properly, wash it, drain out that latex, and cut them up into small little pieces so that they're easier to work with. And then you just toss it around a little bit and add your avocado oil. Now you can use avocado oil or you can use coconut oil as is typically used with these um, hair oils. Um, I particularly like avocado oil because the molecular structure of it is small enough where it can actually penetrate your hair shafts. So it can actually be used as a sealant and as a penetrating oil. So I love to use avocado oil. Um, then you want to just bring this to a slow boil on medium low heat and you're going to let this cook for about 20 minutes. So yeah, this has been cooking for about a few minutes now. As you can see, periodically I will stir it. And what I'm looking for is like a darker brown consistency that the ingredients are a little bit wilted and discolored. And, and the aloe vera is a little bit dehydrated and discolored as well. A darker brown color and then I'll know it's ready. So this is what it looks like after 20 minutes. As you can see guys, again, the ingredients are a little bit wilted and dehydrated and you're just left with the oil. Um, I like to let it sit and cool all the way down before I move on to the next step. You can um, extract the oil while it's hot. I prefer not to. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let it sit for a few hours. Um, or just until it cools all the way down. I believe on this day I had it sit out for at least four hours and then I proceeded to extracting the oil. So now that our oil is ready, it's cooled all the way down, we're going to proceed to extracting the oil. You just want to get a container, any container is fine, any strainer, you can use a cheesecloth, you can use anything you have, a, a pantyhose if you want to, and just strain this out. Here you can see me using a wooden spoon to just press down on the um, ingredients just to extract a little bit more of the oil. We do not want to waste any of this. And then I'm going to add it to my applicator bottle um, because I will be doing a demo later on and adding some to my hair and my scalp. So yeah, you just want to put it away in a container for storage. You can store this in a dark cool place in your bathroom if you'd like um, and then with any leftovers I would store it in a small mason jar as you can see here and then I'm gonna go one step further because I'm extra extra <laughs> and I'm gonna add some hibiscus leaves so it looks nice and pretty and it further infuses as well as it stores over time and then I'm gonna add my rosemary oil 
about, I think I put like five or six drops there and that should be sufficient and just give it a little shake and ta-da! Doesn't that look luxurious? I mean, wouldn't you drop coins on this? Like, come on, come on. This is luxurious and expensive and so good for your hair. So now we're on to our application. I like to use this as a pre-poo and then leave it on my hair for a few hours before I wash, condition, and style my hair as usual. Right now my hair is about I think four or five days old. I only put some mousse in my hair so there's not a lot of products on my hair anyways. Um, but this hair oil guys, it is the truth. I tell you no lies. The ingredients in there are bomb for your hair it'll help your hair grow it'll thicken your hair it'll stimulate your scalp and grow your hair at optimal speed I recommend using this two to three times a week to maximize your hair growth this oil has really helped me grow my low density high porosity fine hair you couldn't tell that my hair is actually fine and low density um, by the look of it and this oil has really helped me come a long way so yeah that's it guys let it sit on your hair for a few hours and um, wash it out as you normally would and if you found this video at all helpful or informative in any way please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video and you grow girl in the meantime in between time see you in another one yes mm -hmm.